So we still have a, a, a few little problems with the computer uh, for the next speech that will be fixed in a few minutes, I hope. Uh, in the meantime, I want to welcome, welcome you all uh, to our 11th meeting. Uh, this year, everything happened under somewhat unlucky stars. Um, at the end of March, we had already more applications to come than in any previous year. But then you know what happened. Um, and what happened in Turkey was not all that different from what happened in Brussels and in Paris and in Madrid and recently also in Germany. Uh, so at no time did I have the feeling things were in any sense insecure or unsafe here and I never sent out any warnings whatsoever, which of course I would have done in case I had come to the conclusion that um, the situation doesn't warrant to have the meeting here. Nonetheless, uh, a major campaign ensued in the US papers and in European papers against, in particular, Turkey, uh, with the consequence that tourism in Turkey almost completely collapsed from occupancy rates of some 80% to occupancy rates of 20%. Um, and uh, even though I realized that, I thought my kind of guys would not be much affected by this. Uh, they would not put much trust in what they read in the official papers and especially not put much trust in official declarations from uh, the f foreign uh, ministries of various countries. But to my surprise, uh, I also had to suffer quite a bit and had quite a few cancellations. Um, the more happy I am, of course, that uh, many, many of uh, those people did decide, you, you decided to come um, after all. Um, I should mention that uh, some of these criticisms that have been leveled against Turkey I consider to be extremely unjust and hypocritical, especially about um, uh, censorship in Turkey, which of course exists, but it also exists in Western countries. Uh, in Germany, for instance, uh, also many statements on the internet are taken down that not all that different from what they have done here. Um, uh, this does not excuse uh, anything that was done here, but nonetheless, it, uh, it relativizes the difference between uh, the West and, uh, and Turkey. And the consequence of this has been that in particular those parts of Turkey have been hit the hardest that are the most westernized. Uh, the tourism industry is obviously the industry that is mostly adjusted to the Western lifestyle and they are used to serving Western, Western tourists. Uh, those are the ones that are hit the hardest by this type of propaganda effort that was uh, initiated in particular uh, against Turkey. There were no warnings not going to France, even though they had that incident in Nizza. There were no warnings issued against going to Belgium, despite what has happened in Brussels. But there were plenty of them even uh, two days ago from the United States uh, concerning, concerning Turkey. The good thing for some of you is at least since we have a uh, lower turnout than in previous years, that many of you got upgraded rooms. Um, so there's a good side to, uh, to this. 
I have one um, uh, formal, one uh, scheduling announcement um, uh, for the boat trip on Monday. Um, we have to know how many boats we have to charter. So there will be a list put out at the front desk. Um, and please, if you plan to participate in the boat trip, put your name down and the number of uh, participants in your party so that we have an assessment of how many boats will be needed. Um, and um, now I come to the introduction of the two speakers of this morning. Um, the first one will be Olivier Richard. Uh, Olivier is a mathematician and economist, was a professor of finance at UCLA. Then he became a hedge fund manager, manager for a major Swiss bank. Uh, and uh, then he retired from this and became a privateer. Um, first moving to Switzerland and then moving to Thailand. Two years, Olivier has given uh, several speeches here uh, in the course of the years. Two years ago, um, he gave us a speech about his odyssey of trying to avoid the taxmen and moving from France to the US and from the US to England and from England to Switzerland and finally to Thailand. Uh, this time his speech will be entirely on an entirely different subject. And the second speaker uh, this morning will be Rahim Takizadegan. Um, Rahim uh, is by training a physicist, but then devoted his career to writing on philosophical and economic matters. And he is also an entrepreneur. Um, having established some schools and training programs as an alternative to state schooling, and state universities, and state education in general. With this, um, Olivier, please. <laughs> 